Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2001 romantic comedy fantasy called Kate and Leopold 2001. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. Our movie begins at the inauguration of the Brooklyn Bridge. As Duke Leopold sketches the bridge, he notices a man named Stuart taking pictures with a small camera. He tries to follow him, but Stuart runs away. Leopold goes home and is admonished by his uncle for not being prepared for the party. As his servants help him to get ready, his uncle comes in and mocks Leopold for his inventiveness and tells him instead that he ought to be looking for marriage. Leopold believes that the monarchy is dead and that the new royals are the great builders and inventors. His uncle slaps him in the face and tells him that he should find a wealthy bride as he washes his hands of him. Leopold joins the party and is presented to Miss Tree, who he dances with. He dances with other ladies throughout the night, but suddenly spots Stuart again, who is taking photographs. He follows him to an empty room where he is taking pictures of Leopold's sketchbook. Leopold demands to know who he is, and Stuart takes flight. Leopold chases him out into the rain and pursues him on horseback. Stuart returns to the bridge, and they both climb the ladder. Stuart nearly falls from a height and Leopold tries to save him. Stuart begs him to let go. Everything is all right, but they both fall through a white mist. Kate is at the movie theater, observing a test screening for a romantic movie. She isn't impressed and thinks that the female lead is unlikable. The director disagrees and argues with her. Kate and her assistant Darcy discuss this in the cab. She conducts market research and finds out what ordinary people think and passes on that information, but occasionally that upsets someone. She used to go out with Stuart, but they broke up because he was one of those people that couldn't face up to reality. Kate returns to her apartment. The elevator is malfunctioning and she has to climb out. She can hear some banging from above and goes to investigate. She sees Stuart through the window and hides. Leopold is passed out on his couch. She calls Stuart and demands he return something that belongs to her. He hangs up on her and pulls out a book about the royal family. He turns to the page about Leopold, the Duke of Albany, who invented the elevator. Kate calls him back and he reveals that he discovered a portal that took him back to 1876. He followed his great-great-grandfather around New York, but he has now followed him home. She doesn't believe him and he says that was the problem with their relationship. The next morning, Leopold is awoken and startled by the noise. He asks Stuart where he is and has told the truth. Kate can hear them argue and comes to see what all the fuss is about, but Stuart throws her out. He explains to Leopold that New York City isn't safe for him to wander around. He will send him back home next Monday when the portal reopens. Stuart has to take his dog out to the toilet and leaves Leopold to read his discoveries about the portal. However, the elevator malfunctions and Stuart falls down the lift shaft. Kate finds the dog in the hallway, so she tells Leopold to come and take the dog out for a walk. Outside, Leopold is awestruck by the modern world. Kate tells him where to take the dog and leaves. Leopold sees a television screen. The host is reporting the malfunctioning of elevators throughout the city. Kate arrives at work, and Darcy gives her the schedule for the day. JJ, the boss, has returned, and Kate is a little surprised. Leopold finds the Brooklyn Bridge and is amazed to find that it still stands. He returns to the apartment to find Stuart being taken away in an ambulance. He tells Leopold to stay in the apartment and then calls him from the hospital, begging him to stay put. Kate's brother Charlie enters her apartment. He can hear a noise upstairs and meets Leopold, who he believes to be a method actor who is remaining in character. Meanwhile, Kate tells Darcy that she thinks that JJ is considering her for senior vice president. She will meet him for dinner tomorrow night. Suddenly, she receives a message that Stuart is in the hospital, so she goes to see him. He tries to explain about Leopold and tells her that if Leopold doesn't return on Monday, then as his descendant, Stuart, may cease to exist. She still doesn't believe him, so he gives her the camera and asks her to get the pictures developed as proof. 
she returns home and can hear the noise upstairs. Charlie invites Leopold for dinner, where he asks if Kate ever saw Stuart's papers on the temporal universe. He explains that Stuart developed the formula to discover portals and that you have to jump through them for a great height to reach the necessary velocity. Later, when Leopold sets off the smoke detector upstairs, Kate goes to help. He says something to her that makes her think that he would be good for a commercial role. She takes him to audition and everyone is blown away. Kate is ecstatic that her boss is impressed. She tries to hail a cab, even though Leopold would prefer to take a horse and carriage. Suddenly, a man steals her handbag and she gives chase. He manages to outrun her, but suddenly, Leopold picks her up on horseback and they pursue the thief and retrieve the handbag. They return to her apartment in the carriage and she asks if he is truly a duke. Kate goes for dinner with JJ, who is impressed with Leopold and asks if she is still sleeping with him. He shows her pictures of his house and tells her she should visit. Meanwhile, Charlie takes Leopold to a bar and introduces him to his friends, including Patrice, who Charlie fancies. However, Patrice is impressed by Leopold's sophistication. Charlie is initially angry that Leopold got her number, but Leopold explains that he acquired it by telling Patrice that Charlie held affection for her, but was too nervous to make an overture. Leopold now advises Charlie of how he should make his next move. Charlie starts to realize that Leopold also likes Kate. It is late and Kate tells JJ that they haven't discussed the promotion, which is why she thought that they were there. He starts to make some inappropriate comments, but suddenly they are joined by Charlie and Leopold. Things become very awkward as JJ shows off, but Leopold calls him on his ignorance before getting up and leaving. Kate apologizes to JJ before returning home and going straight to her room. Leopold writes her a letter, but she leaves in the morning without noticing it. Charlie chases after her and slips it into her bag. During a meeting, Kate reads the apology note from Leopold. He invites her to dinner on the rooftop that night. The reaction to Leopold's audition was very positive, and after the meeting, Kate apologizes to JJ. He assures her that everything is okay. Stuart is being spoken to by a psychologist who believes him to be a danger to himself and he has prescribed some medications. Charlie gets a bouquet of flowers for Patrice, but Leopold is not happy with the selection. He helps him to make a better choice, and later, Charlie invites Patrice for dinner using words supplied by Leopold. He leaves for his date, and soon after, Kate goes to meet Leopold on the roof for dinner. She tells him that she isn't very good with men, but he replies that maybe she hasn't met the right one yet. He explains that had he not followed Stuart, then he would have had to select one of the women that night to take as a bride. Leopold asks her to dance, and they kiss. The following morning, Leopold and Charlie compare notes about their dates. Charlie asks Leopold who he really is, and says that he is worried that his sister will get hurt again. Leopold merely tells him that he is the man who loves his sister. Leopold has made Kate breakfast, and she is overwhelmed. They spend the day together sightseeing. He takes her to the house that belonged to his uncle and opens a secret drawer where he kept his most prized possessions. He takes out his mother's ring. Later, Kate asks Leopold if he misses where he's from. He says that he misses the slower rhythm like they enjoyed today. After midnight, he is about to ask her a question with his mother's ring in his hand, but she is falling asleep and so he puts her to bed. She asks him to spend the night, and he hugs her to sleep. The following day, Leopold is filming the commercial. He tastes the product, but it is revolting, so he walks out. Kate chases after him, but he refuses to return, as he does not wish to endorse a product that he hates. She agrees that the product is awful, and Leopold suggests that maybe this deceit is why she hates her job. They argue about their ethics, but return to complete the job anyway. In the taxi on the way home, they agree that they had a great weekend, but now it is over. Stewart is in the psychiatric ward in the hospital. He manages to convince a nurse that he isn't crazy, and she helps him to escape. He returns to his apartment and discovers what has happened since he's been away. He tells Leopold that he must return. 
as they head for the bridge, Stuart explains that he will return to the same day, so he may be repeating some things. Only, this time, do not follow him. Kate is called to see JJ, who offers her the promotion. She thanks him, and then calls Stuart's apartment, and leaves a message on the answering machine for Leopold. She tells him that she got the job, apologizes, and tells him that she misses him. Stuart is listening to the message when Charlie enters and asks where Leopold is. Stuart tells him that he has gone home. Charlie notices the photographs and realizes that Leopold was genuine. Suddenly, he spots something in the photographs which shocks Stuart. In 1876, Leopold has returned home and is preparing for the party. In order to speed up events, he asks his uncle who he would like him to marry. Like, who is the richest? His uncle replies, Miss Tree. Kate prepares for a party where her promotion will be announced. Coincidentally, the party is taking place at Leopold's uncle's house. Stuart and Charlie are in a taxi, and Stuart realizes that all of this was destiny, except that Kate was supposed to return with Leopold. They arrive at the party and locate Kate. They hand her the pictures just as she is called to the stage. JJ calls for her as Stuart tells her that maybe he was the guy that was supposed to help her find her guy. Charlie tells her that she has to jump off the Brooklyn Bridge within the next 23 minutes. Kate goes to the stage and starts to make her speech. While she is applauded, she looks at the photographs and notices herself in the background wearing the same dress that she is wearing now. She speaks from her heart and leaves the party with Stuart and Charlie. In the cab, she tries to understand how she is in the picture. They are caught in traffic and have to make a run for it. Leopold's uncle is about to make an announcement regarding his nephew's engagement. Kate has to walk across a girder. She doesn't think she can do it, but Stuart tells her that if she loves Leopold, then she has to do it. She walks across and jumps off the bridge. Kate arrives in the past and runs to Leopold's uncle's house. The announcement is about to be made when Kate enters the room. Leopold suddenly notices her at the back and announces her as his fiance before they kiss and dance. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.